G'day guys, and today I'm going to do a bit of a few practice questions uh, in regards to your CCNA. I found a nice textbook uh, which helped me out here. So get a few questions, so I'll go through them and I'll, I'll have the answer after the question. So the first one I've got is your manager asks you which service is responsible for translating the source IP address of a packet to the IP address of the public interface on the router. Now it is not DHCP that uh, gives out IP addresses dynamically to end systems. DNS deals with uh, translating IP addresses to domain names, domain names to IP addresses I should say. HTTP is a protocol, web protocol to accessing web page so that leaves us with NAT. NAT deals with that. NAT uh, is responsible in regards to um, translate the translation there. Number two is you are troubleshooting a communication problem. You seem to be able to communicate with Glenn's website by IP address, but not by the fully qualified domain name. www.glennyclark.com. What is most likely the problem? So let's look at what we've got. It's not DHCP. It's not NAT. It's not dead HTTP. Answers DNS because uh, DNS deals with translating domain names to IP addresses. The fact that it can get to an IP address and access that site but not the name suggests there's a problem in DNS. Number three, which network service can be configured on your router that is responsible for assigning IP addresses to systems on the network? The answer for this one is DHCP. The reason that's the case is because that's exactly what it does. DHCP assigns IP addresses for systems on the network dynamically. Question four is what service on the network is responsible for converting the FQDN to an IP address? And that would be the DNS server. Again, uh, DNS is the one responsible for converting the uh, domain names. To an IP address. Question 5. What service on the network is responsible for verifying username and passwords when the user attempts to log on? I've done a bit of security so this certainly would is uh, pretty straightforward to myself. Answer is A. Authentication server. Authentication is a method whereby it's a, a method to check is the username and password correct. Authorization is different. Authorizations where Okay, your, your person X, what can person X do basically? So authentication server is the one there. For question six we have, you are monitoring network traffic and you notice a number of DHCP discover messages on the network. Which of the following is destination address of the DHCP discover message? What we've got to look for here is that uh, DHCP discover is a broadcast message at a layer two level which is uh, with the switch and uh, the two bottom ones we've got there are IP addresses and the top two are MAC addresses and the broadcast message for uh, a MAC address is uh, all F so the answer is B F F F F F F F <laughs> number seven when a client system boots up and requests an IP address it must first it first must send out which message all right so this is involving the freeway handshake. Initially, we start off with a DHCP discover, to, which is the first message in the handshake uh, to discover if anything is on the network. And that is all for today. So for network services, uh, that's pretty much it here. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Feel free to subscribe for more stuff, and that'd be fantastic. Share it around and like the video, that'd be fantastic. Thanks for sticking around guys, see you later.